if you create unreasonable and unfair expectations, you will almost by definition feel like a failure because the ideal self that you have envisioned is impossibly challenging and almost futile to even imagine becoming. So you might ask, why did I create this this ideal self if I know I could fail? Well, oftentimes when these are subconscious drivers, it's important to look back into our past selves and our childhood perhaps or our adolescence when we were so concerned with the opinions of other people. You know, we actually become sociocentric in our adolescence because we need to be much more aware at that time when our brains are evolving and when, when we're developing. We need to become much more aware of what our crowds and our peers think so that we can understand how to exist within a community because we're not just individuals. We are part of something greater and so that something greater is the society or the community or whatever it is. So that's an important part. But coming out of that and becoming an individual is learning how to embrace your own authenticity within a community. And isn't it wonderful that our communities now, as times progress, are actually becoming much more accepting of individuality and authenticity. But when we look back into our past selves, look back into our upbringings, wherever it is, we might have learnt that there's no such thing as getting validation without working ridiculously. You know, if our parents were the type of people who would only provide us with attention and love and care uh, if we worked really hard, if we performed a certain way, if we behaved a certain way, what we might start seeing is that aspects of ourselves became more exaggerated because like all human beings, we want to be loved. And other aspects of our personality became suppressed because we recognized that those didn't actually lead to any type of validation or love. And what you get is this kind of wonky half self that's still in adulthood chasing where it thinks it will be most loved. 